Hey SEO friends, Proxmox part two, 12 top uses of Proxmox servers. So if you didn't watch the other Proxmox server video, I recommend you watch it. I tell you how to build this server. Uh, it costs about 1300 bucks and basically it includes 20, well, you, you can install 20 copies of Windows. That's why I have the hashtag 20 win. Um, we use it instead of VPS because you own it. It's not, it's not an expense, it's an investment. And uh, definitely watch the first Proxmox One video uh, for more on how to build it, what parts to use, the, you know, the costs involved, uh, some avenues, you know, for licensing, you know, the first Proxmox video covers that. This is just about 12 top uses and they're not in order. They're just random. So number 12, Capture Server. So I use uh, GSA Capture Breaker and I have another capture program that doesn't come to mind, but I uh, basically, um, it's a CAPTCHA service that you own and run yourself and uh, you use it for your own internal use and uh, instead of sending the CAPTCHAs out and paying two cents for each CAPTCHA, do this. Next, Scrapebox. So I use Scrapebox mainly for index checking and um, yellow page scraping. Yellow page scraping on Scrapebox, pretty good. Um, it's not as good as Managementware or Lead Kahuna because it's not really giving a lot more info. You know, Lead Kahuna is ridiculous. It gives 80 different fields on their GMB, etc. Managementware is pretty darn good. Um, I do feature both of those later on in this video, but uh, this one's pretty good. So, uh, Scrapebox on uh, Proxmox. And the other thing is, why would you run Scrapebox on Proxmox? Uh, you can run it for hours. You set it and forget it and it doesn't occupy your desktop machine. And it's one of 20 Windows you know, installations. So you set this up for a five hour job, you're not out of commission for five hours. It's just one of your 20 virtual machines on Proxmox. That's the whole thing about Proxmox. So um, anything you do on VPS, so anything that you run on VPS right now, do it on Proxmox. Instead of spending, you know, if you had 20 VPS servers, you'd be spending 600 bucks a month in two months, you'd be able to buy Proxmox. So anything you do on VPS, do it on Proxmox. Um, trial software. Um, I like running trial software on Proxmox uh, Windows installations because if there's a problem with them or you want to rerun them, you can blow out the Windows installation and redo it. You know, uh, I'm not going to really walk you through that, but free trials on Proxmox. Marriage made in heaven. Next, prox prospecting software. Uh, I wish I grabbed a screenshot of Lead Kahuna because everybody loves that. And uh, this one I use Managementware. Managementware, um, I use it for finding clients and uh, or prospects. And uh, it allows you to punch in a bunch of keywords here, a bunch of locations here, and it runs. Uh, it's got two modes. One mode is API, and it gets the listings, thousands of listings, as if they're stored on your computer problem with that is you're paying Google for it. Uh, I had an $1,100 bill for API scraping or API usage from this program. So I said, hey, you know what, why don't I throw it on my Proxmox and let it run as long as it wants and just scrape. And I got the same results and I got them for free. That's why I use Proxmox. Set it and forget it. Let jobs run for hours. Check back in the, on them later and your data sitting there. Um, FTP backup of sites and Google Drive. So I have my Proxmox server set up to back up all of my websites, all my client websites, all my lead gens, etc. Um, you run FileZilla and it becomes an FTP server. You do have to configure your router for it so that it gets right to the uh, Proxmox installation and uh, you give it your IP, you forward the IP, the IP from uh, your router and you have a backup uh, server. So I use that for backing up Google Drive and uh, uh, websites. Um, you could use any uh, website backup utility um, that supports FTP and you're, you have your own FTP server. And the data is here as opposed to out in the cloud. So a little safer, a little nicer. Um, any VA tools or remote apps, you know, anything that you want your VA to remote into, um, Proxmox is specifically built uh, in a way that it's very easy to, you know, have your VAs get into uh, your uh, Windows installations. 
you can have your 20 Windows installations and say these five are for VAs, the other 15 are for internal use or for my use or my actual employees and the five they can go to town with and if they beat them up you reinstall them but uh, and the other thing is you can keep your data separate from them and they're just working on you know pretty plain vanilla machines and you have your own stuff you know safe on Proxmox but on a different Windows installation that they don't have access to uh, it makes it very easy for them to remote in and once they are remote in given the password username and password it gives them access to certain uh, VMs inside Proxmox. Um, Multi-login tools. So multi-login, Loggy, and Go Login. Um, I use these a ton. I use Logi or Loggy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's very good. Um, it was cheap and uh, it does the job. And uh, I put it on there. And then if I, you know, if I'm working on regular stuff for myself, I use my desktop. And when I want to jump into, uh, you know, uh, multiple profiles or do stuff you know I, I actually have three different uh, loggy configurations on my Proxmox for different types of clients and when I go on to a certain loggy installation those are all my legal clients those are all my home services clients and I log in as them and works great um, custom BAS scripts so browser automation studio scripts uh, custom CTR uh, YouTube bots uh, GMB engagement bots and uh, email uh, account warm up. So I do all that in, inside Browser Automation Studio. And the nice thing is, if you put it onto one machine and that machine is dedicated to running those scripts, you know, with a schedule, it runs really well. Uh, you know, there's nothing else that's going to affect it. Pretty much that that one uh, machine is dedicated to BAS, and those that's the graces of Proxmox. You can dedicate a machine to anything. I, I have one that just runs bots. You know, imagine having having the luxury of having a super fast computer that can just run bots whenever you want, and you know it runs on a schedule, so nothing else is going to interfere with it. And as long as the Proxmox server is up and running and the schedule is proper, you know it's going to run the scheduled tasks. So, uh, custom CTR, great. YouTube bots, great. GMB engagement. You know, whether or not I want to, you know, visit you know sites, whether or not I want to. You know, drop reviews, drop Q and A, whatever. Good stuff. Um, next, automated link builders. So SEO Autopilot, Money Robot, GSA, Ranker X, built for Proxmox. Uh, running that stuff on VPS, terrible. Running it on Proxmox, amazing. Um, you run a, a a diagram like this on a laptop or desktop PC. It's going to occupy the machine for three days. I run it on Proxmox. A, it runs faster because the machine's whipping fast. Number two, set it and forget it. I plug all the details in, run that job. Takes however long it takes. When I pop into it, you know, to uh, check to see whether or not it's done, I have a bunch of built links sitting there waiting for me to index, waiting for me to, you know, pop them into another job to uh, build tiers. I mean, it automatically builds tiers. But, you know, maybe I want to put them into press releases, you know, some of the better ones, put them into press releases or whatever. Um, but automated link builders should be run on Proxmox. Running automated link builders on VPS is an expense, not an investment. Xenu Link Sleuth. So if I want to find expired domain names, uh, basically what I do is I look at directory sites or directory listings or niche listings or, you know, even, you know, all, anywhere that you know mentions sites, then it, it connects out to clients or competitors. I plug in the URLs and it crawls them and it crawls all the links on those uh, sites and it finds dead uh, domains. And I take those dead domains, I check their trust flow, and if they're worthwhile, I register them. Plain and simple. Xenu Link Sleuth, real old tool, works perfectly still. And last one, CTR, you know, on the high end, you know, CTR Booster and Viper. On the low end, awesome Diabolic and Supreme Bots. I'm not recommending any of these. Uh, you use what you use. That's not the purpose of this video. But uh, I showed Awesome Traffic Bot, which they sell at Code Canyon. Um, it has its uses, and that's the deal with C low end CTR, is they have their uses. High end CTR has their uses, but the reality is, 
they should all be run on you know a server like Proxmox, etc., because they run better. They're unaffected by anything else going on on the machine, and you know set and forget. That's the whole name of the game. Is you want to have a scenario where you can throw a job onto one of your 20 Windows installations, walk away from it, come back, and it's done. So that's the essence of Proxmox. That's my 12 top uh, tips for what to run on Proxmox. Uh, I know a few of you have Proxmox servers. You're going to love this video because it'll probably open your eyes to a couple of new things that you haven't been using your Proxmox server for. And even so, I guarantee you still love your Proxmox server. So best of luck. Take care. Thanks. Bye.